So you just bought the i5 14400F and you want to undervolt it to get more performance and to make the CPU, which actually runs pretty low in temperatures, run even lower, drawing even less power and making your PC being quieter, which is going to be helpful, especially if you have the stock cooler. Well, this is the right video for you. So now we'll show you guys how to undervolt it for more performance, more FPS in the BIOS and also for efficiency. And I'm not going to waste your guys' time. So just promise me one thing, okay? If the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel. With that said, let's go in the BIOS and see you there. Here we are in the BIOS. Now, the way the settings are named are going to be slightly different depending on the motherboard maker. So today we have an MSI Pro Z790S Wi-Fi, but if you have an ASUS Gigabyte ASRock or other brands motherboard, don't worry because I actually have on the channel an undervolting playlist. And uh, if you go there, I try to cover every single CPU and uh, every time I change CPU, I try to change motherboard so I can like show you guys different settings. So the settings are going to be the same, but the numbers going to be a bit different. So you can cross reference with my other videos, if it makes sense. If you watch like true, you will for sure find your motherboard. But I will also try to say in this video the proper names. So with that said, let's go into advanced by hitting F7. And now we want to go on the overclocking section. First thing you want to do is basically, th this is not undervolting related, by the way but you do want to run your RAM with XMP. Now, again, this is not under voltage related, so you want to test this separately, but this is the first thing we need to do. Now, at this point, we want to go and find something that's called CPU cooler tuning, if you have it. Now, if you don't have it, no worries, we'll do something different. But if you do have it, now here things change. So if you're doing this undervolt for performance, you want to put it on the higher power limit, so on water cooler. But if you're doing this just for temperature, you actually want to put boxed cooler if you are really temperature restrained or tower air cooler if you just want to like reduce your temperature a bit. Okay, but for my case, we're going with water cooler because it's what we have right here in this PC. Now, let's suppose your motherboard doesn't have the CPU cooler tuning. How do you do that still? Well, you go into advanced CPU configuration and then you go all the way down until you find the long duration power limit, long duration maintained, short duration power limit and all those settings and you want to just put all nines into them to basically max them out and put the maximum numbers on those four settings so it's basically the true power limits and the current limit just max them out and you're going to be fine little word on the p cores and e cores okay and hyper threading so in some games if you disable hyper threading you gain fps so if you have a specific game you want to tweak maybe disable this but if you're doing this just for general purpose, leave this enabled, okay? Same thing for the e-cores. For some reason, some games really like the e-cores disabled, so if you want, you can put them on zero. But in my case, I'm just leaving them enabled, okay? Now, the actual undervolt itself. Let's go back here, let's go all the way down until we find something that's called CPU core voltage mode or CPU v-core or v-core or CPU voltage, something like that. And now we wanna select offset. And in uh, CPU core voltage offset mode, we want to put minus. Now, if your motherboard doesn't have the mode, you want to just go into offset and click the minus with your keyboard. And now here we want to put 0.05. This is basically it. So you can actually close the tutorial, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, try it out for yourself. But in case you want to stay, here are a few extra tips, okay? So this thing is going to work for 99% of i5s from 14th gen, not just the 14400F actually, but not for 100% of the CPU is going to work. So if this doesn't work, you want to lower it a bit. Now, the higher this number, the better the temperature gain and so the better the performance. However, because basically um, lower voltage, it means you can reach the power limit later, so it can run a bit higher pretty much. So if it's really unstable, put 0.04. And if your CPU is absolutely bad, put 0.03. Okay, 0.03 is actually going to work for every CPU in the market, okay? Now, on the other side, if 0.05 works and you want to test it out a bit more and you feel very lucky, I've seen the best CPUs go all the way up to 0.075 being stable. Honestly, I have not really seen any CPU being properly stable at 0.1. So I would not recommend going this high. But uh, this is basically it. At this point, you just uh, save the setting, hit F10 and you're ready to go. So again, if the video was helpful, maybe drop a like and a sub. And on the channel, I cover how to undervolt different CPUs, different GPUs, and I have budget builds as well. So maybe check the channel out and I hope to see you guys again. Bye bye.